Um, so after your time with Battle Right, w- did you jump right into where you're at now with um, uh, Wisdom Media? My time after Battle Right was very hectic. So the Battle Right LAN and Pro League Season 3 got essentially canceled, so I had to find a new paycheck pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can't say too much about the jobs because of NDAs and stuff like that, you know, not trying to get sued or anything. Okay. Um, but, uh, I worked a lot of different gigs behind the scenes in esports. Like okay. I was an admin for a lot of events. Oh yeah. I traveled mm-hmm. a bit. I did some observing, just a lot of stuff to help put, put on the show behind the scenes. Yeah. Can you talk at all? I know you said you have an NDA, but can you talk about, Maybe um, like let people know what adminning is, like some of your responsibilities and ways that maybe somebody could get into adminning. Yeah, adminning is like being the babysitter at the daycare. You know, you see all the toddlers <laughs> running around, all the players, you know, doing silly things, making jokes in chat. I'm being facetious, of course, but you, you're the one that wrangles the players and makes sure the game is going to start when the director says start the game. So you're pretty much just making friends with people once again. This is kind of a a string throughout my career. Um, you're just trying to get people to like you and to listen to you yep. and making sure that everything is running on schedule. Um, getting into admining, I think there's a website called Hitmarker. Um, I'm sure you've heard of it. I'm sure a lot no, of people No, I actually have it. it. Interesting. Okay, so Hitmarker, I don't remember if it's .com or .gg. It's okay. hard to say with esports. It is, But right. it's, it's a website where you can go and find job postings in esports. Um, and that's a great a great resource for admins that are looking for work. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, I, I feel like the admin's like a very entry level type position where they don't need a plethora of esports background. Is is that correct? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. As long as you can understand like the game lobby and how the game functions in terms of getting people into the lobby and getting the match started and being able to set the correct rule set. You can do it for almost any game. The skills carry over for game after game after game. One of the things that when I was shoutcasting for different groups that I worked a lot with the admin was, you know, I they were saying, okay, you know, Indrid, you, you're casting X game, you know, in team A and B are playing. It was my admin's job to often find team A, find team B, usually the captains. They usually spoke to the captains and said, hey, like, you need to get into this game. Go. Yes. We're, we're waiting and um i kind of think of them like um i don't even know what you would call it but like you know in the movies when you see the person behind stage and they got the headset on the clipboard oh, and they're yes. like the producer is that what it is is the producer yeah uh, in movies when the person like has the clipboard and the headphones that's like the producer yeah but it's very similar in esports yeah i feel like they're like shuttling like okay it's your turn go 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 you like you need to move yeah go celine dion get on stage it's your turn now <laughs> yeah right it's like exactly. the exact same thing and um, so what was that? Was that Hitmark GG or Hitmark.com? Hitmarker. Hitmarker. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a great way to start. Like, that's, again, great entry level. That's pretty sweet. I wish I, I w- uh, would have known about that. Um, yeah, es- esports is not nearly as difficult to get into as you may think. Yeah. Now, finding your place in it might take some time, whether you're an admin or an observer or anything along those lines. But if you look online, you will likely be able to find something entry level. Would you consider an observer entry level also? No. Okay. I would consider that maybe one or two steps above, but it it definitely requires a lot more knowledge of the game. Right. Because you got to know where to be as you're observing. Exactly. If your director says, get onto this person or get onto this location, you got to be able to do it ASAP. So it's a bit 